Hello and thank you for joining me in today's build. Basically, as the title suggests, we're going to be building a modern model home, which means it's not going to have any furnishings. I'm just basically making the outside and the outside's going to, you know, have flowers and things to make it look inviting. But if you were to visit this place, you would notice it's empty on the inside so you can, you know, think of the ideas of what you want to do for the home for yourself. And the idea of a build like this is for simmers who are not keen on building but love to furnish and would like something, I guess, not in a traditional style. They want something more of a modern style. Uh, you may notice across the street there is a house. This is Newcrest, and Newcrest doesn't usually have any um, buildings when you first start a save file. I did originally do another home that was supposed to be the first home in this series. This one was supposed to be B. That's why it's labeled B. Um, but the way that I recorded it was, was pretty crap, <laughs> so we're not going to think about that right now. But it is across the street, and I do plan on, if I haven't yet, putting it up on the gallery for download, and it'll have the same exact name except A um, instead of B. So anyway, about the build, um, I may have mentioned before that I searched some images online to get some kind of inspiration for what I wanted the front to look like, and then after that, I just sort of decided to wing it. And there are some similar... Uh, features to the first home that I built because I want it to look like a series of model homes instead of in individual or unique model model homes. So both of them have a very angular kind of look with those sort of separated walls that are just kind of, you know, cutting off certain parts um, of the home from view from the outside, for example. And those are just decorative features. They don't really have any functional like purpose. It's just to make the house look nice from the outside um, looking in. But over here in the back, I had this idea for a kind of terracey little area and I was trying, I was trying desperately hard to make it look good. But because the home itself, I decided to put up on a foundation it was actually incredibly difficult to get the desired effect, so it's not as spectacular as I was hoping it was going to look. And another difficulty that I ran into, which we'll probably talk a little bit more about later, is there were supposed to be like curtains there, like on the side where those two little walls are, um, but it... Mm, I had to sort of work around that a bit because in the game they don't give you curtains that are tall like singular curtains that are on one side, you know what I mean? That are for the tall windows. And also, can we talk about how there's only three tall windows like in the game? Like really? <laughs> like for the tallest height, there's like only three. I, I literally just realized, like, are you, are you kidding me? Okay. Anyway, in this area, this area is actually the backyard. And I wanted to do something kind of cute where like you have this kind of separate bath not a bath, but kind of like a bath, like that's connected to the pool, but you can't put them next to each other. So I had to put this little platformy area next to it and it doesn't look as good, but it's all right, I guess. <laughs> um, I wanted this area to be a little bigger, but actually I think the size of the house is perfect and the size of the yard is perfect. It doesn't really require a much bigger size than this. And, um, as you'll see when we jump inside and we start to just sort of think about what a potential floor plan could look like, it doesn't seem like it's a very much, like it doesn't seem like it's a family home. It seems like it's probably for a single person or a couple or a retiree or, you know, a, a hip retiree or someone like that, you know, who just wants to have a few rooms in which they can do some fun things like work out or, you know, like a home studio a music studio or something like that. It's definitely not for a family family. In the front here, in this little garden area, I've noticed in a lot of modern gardens, they don't use those traditional kind of flowers. They use a lot of exotic looking flowers and they don't always use grass as the bed. And I've never thought about that before. So that's something that I want to introduce 
in these in this uh, model home series. But because I don't have much experience like with this style of garden, you know, if it looks crap, you could always just delete it. <laughs> I think it looks like unique. I think it looks interesting. But I have to admit, it's not my style, so I could definitely relate to you if you felt like, what did she do there and why did she do that? That was the reason why. And they do also have these nice, like, manicured sections where the grass is just very green and very beautiful. It's not environmentally, like, friendly or anything, but it's The Sims, so we're not going to worry about that. In House A, there are these, there are the these little planters that are either like featured on the house or outside the house. And that's why I'm adding them here as well. It should look like they were built by the same builder or made by the same, you know, this, the same design team. So I'm just sort of continuing that theme there in the front, but it's actually super cute. When I was taking the pictures, um, you know, of the outside and trying to find a good angle, I I thoroughly enjoy looking at the house, <laughs> like just just looking at it. I, I think it's very very beautiful. So even as a house that's just meant to fill up your neighborhood, um, you know, if you like to play the game but you don't like to have an empty neighborhood, this type of house would be very useful for that for that purpose. And again, here just continuing using flowers I never use. <laughs> these flowers here they were poking through the wall a little bit so I had to not I didn't have to raise them but I raised them so that you could see them better but then I also had to sort of move them forward a little bit um yeah and I guess in the game they still haven't sort of reconciled the fact that you can't build a fence to the edge of your own lot that's bizarre can we do that please please <laughs> let me build my fence to the edge of my lot that'd be very nice um, and so here, I wanted to add a ceiling to the little sections there. Oh, we can't see it anymore. But anyway, I wanted, there's like on the back porch, there's two areas off to the side that are like two by two or, you know, four squares, right? And so I wanted to put like a ceiling thing on top of it because when you see it from far away, it just looks like it's just sort of hanging there and like it doesn't appear to be any purpose for those things to be there. They're just decorative, to be honest. But putting little, a little ceiling block on top of it sort of cleaned up the look a little bit. Um, but I couldn't do it easily because... Oh my goodness. So building in this game can be frustrating because sometimes you just want to make a ceiling, but you can't just make a ceiling if you don't have a room. And so you have to make a room first, but you've already put down your fence and you've already sort of, you know, the fence is, you know, you can see them now. Those little fence areas are already there, but I have to build a room in order to make a ceiling in order to put on the platform, not the platform, the, you know, like the, this little square piece so that I can actually put a, a trim around it. It's like, well, I don't understand why it's so picky. <laughs> it's so, it's so picky. Uh, but anyway, you can see here I'm starting to put up the walls and put up the fi the finishing touches on the outside. Um, I, do, I want to continue the theme of a dark... I can't think of the name of what I'm trying to say. Wall. Oh, that's fine. Of a dark wall and a light wall, um, as I did in the in the home before. You may be able to, you may have seen it a few times as a shot like across the street, um, but it's very it's relatively similar to this house except that there's nothing happening on the inside. There are no lights, there are no walls or anything. It's just a, an open build for whoever wants to you know download it and do whatever they want to do inside of it. Um, but here, as I was mentioning before, there are no curtains that are actually fit there and actually look nice. So I had to use those island living kind of things in order to have there be a curtain there at all basically i guess i could have sized up a curtain but it might have looked weird but now that i think about it i'll, I'll try it next time because <laughs> i sized those things up but i didn't think about sizing up the window for some reason all right so here again i'm just putting on the finishing touches and as i'm going around i'm just like noticing little things here or there because i'm a kind of a chaotic builder okay so i can't stay i cannot stay in one spot Actually, when I furnish, I do the same thing. When I talk, I do the same thing, as you can see. I can't do one thing at a time. I'm always all over the place. So it's like something will catch my attention, 
And even though I'm working on the bedroom, I'll just move on to the kitchen. I'll spend 15 minutes in the kitchen and then I'll just start working on the bathroom and then I'll just start working on the bedroom. And it's like, why you can't just finish one part? Why you got to go all over the house? And then by the time the house is finished, I realize that some rooms are half done or, you know, I didn't put, I didn't give it the time or the, 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 mm, the finesse, do you know? So with this one, I wanted to be sure that I was really looking at each individual part and trying to figure out, you know, how it looked. Did it look, does it look good? You know, and at this part, I'm trying to figure out how to do the trim. And it's, it's, it's just giving me anxiety. I, I don't know why it wasn't working, but eventually I got it to work uh, to get the trim on that side as well. Um, but I can't get the trim underneath the windows because you have to put a platform there, but I want it to look down into the bottom. So that doesn't make sense. But I would like to just be able to put a trim there if you don't mind, Sims team. I just want to have a trim there if you don't mind. If you really don't mind, I don't know why I can't. Maybe I can do it because it's a roof, but that's not what I want to do. I want it to be uniform, okay? I want it to be uniform with the platform of the floor because it's a very clean line, and I prefer that clean line. Okay, so in the first house, as I mentioned, I didn't do the floor plan. I decided to leave it up to the person who was going to download the house. But the problem with this house is it is the most awkward shape of anything I've ever made in my life because I usually start from the inside out. And But with these builds, I'm basically just only doing the outside and then starting on the inside. And it's completely opposite from what I usually do. So I just wanted to make sure if somebody downloaded this, if they could realistically put some rooms in here, if they could realistically go up to the first, I mean, to the second floor, um, and, you know, can they make a workable, usable house in The Sims with this layout, you know, with this design? And I think it's possible. It depends on what you want. So, for example, on the second floor, I think a gym and a master suite would be perfect. Um, of course, you can connect that area in the middle there that's open. There's no reason for that to be open. If you want to expand your home, if you have a, a, a family, for example, and you want to have room for another for babies or whatever, just close that area off. And it, I think it won't ruin the aesthetic of the build. But I didn't want that for the finished product of the, of the model home itself. Right. So on this floor, we can have maybe, you know, a master bathroom. I mean, a, a master suite. Um, and the little area off to the side there with the five windows, that could be a gym, for example. It's only accessible from the first floor, like you have to use the separate staircases. But again, if you just combine the two sides and you just need one staircase and you can build more freely on the first floor. I said I um, was trying to see, could you fit two bedrooms there? If you have two kids, could it work? And I think it could work if you have small bathrooms. If you don't want to have a really large bathroom, it could work. Um, it's just that the, the living area won't be very big. Um, but I suppose if it's a single person, you know, the first floor would basically be for entertaining. So they would have a big area and a big space for entertaining down there, a nice kitchen, a dining room and living room. And that'd be just about it. But you can put rooms down there if you like. Um, and here I'm just um, sort of working out the lighting plan, uh, trying to see how all of those can sort of fit together, if they would fit together nicely or not. Um, and I think in terms of the series, they, they line up quite well, which is good. And I'm also trying to figure out where the uh, the doors and windows should go and trying to keep the aesthetic of the outside, not to lose the aesthetic of the outside at the same time. So there's a lot of things just going back and forth to see if it works. But here we are with the final product. So we have our modern, modern model home. I can't ever say the names of my builds. <laughs> okay, so just a few flyby shots of the outside. Again, the home is not my style, but I just love the way it looks from the front. I, I absolutely love the way that it looks from the front. It's just spectacular. I like the side view as well. It just looks really nice. But I'm not a fan of the angle parts. Uh, the, the, the other model home also has that. Um, it's just a feature. It's just a feature of these types of homes. I'm not a fan of it, but, you know, maybe there are people who like that kind of thing. It's not always just about me and what I like, right? Okay, so here's the little front yard. It's so cute. And the backyard as well, which actually is very shady and it looks very nice to just be able to sit back there and relax a little bit. And the floor plan. First floor and the second floor. Thank you so much for watching.